Hello guys and girls, right then, this is Lee the Shop, okay, at Cariad. Now, I've got a question for you. What's the best thing to clean your drum kit? Now, it's an interesting subject, this, and I'll tell you for why, okay? It's fine putting a bit of spit and polish, as they call it, and wiping all this down. But you notice the dust and the dirt gets stuck in there, if I can stop my camera for unfocusing, in there, in here, notice. Now, because we have a drum shop <coughs> here in Wales, what happens is, is the hardware here gets cloggy, this gets cloggy all around there, and there's a problem then, because if we keep using cloths too much, you know, you're gonna use a very fine cloth, but if you overuse the cloth, you can start to see little marks. I'll tell you where as well, not just around here, look. The chrome handles it, but the heads, the drum heads. So for an example, if I was to show you this little baby here, look at that, and these are the colour tones by Remo. Look at that, I love that one, the blue one. Um, so when you start wiping these all the time with a the cloth, they naturally get really, really dirty. <clears throat> okay, little tiny little scratch marks. And the other problem is, with wiping is when you have a little baby like this one in my little office here, excuse me, okay? When you have something like a Vista light, because this has been used for a bit of filming or going to be used for some filming, it's horrendous because if you wipe too much with a cloth, <clears throat> becomes a problem. Sorry, <clears throat> a th frog in the throat. And then if you come into this room, this is my, I've been doing rehearsals on this little baby. Again, look, natural wood with lacquer, so again, it's all these little problems in these corners. So do you know what? Now you're all gonna put dislikes on for this, but do you know what I use? My wife discovered it for me. One of these. It's a proper feather duster. <laughs> now is that mental or what? Now this has lost a fair few feathers in actual fact. So we're gonna get a new one soon. Now this is an ostrich feather <coughs> duster. And it's blinking marvelous. Let me show you. You can quickly flick through. I know this sounds mad, but it works, trust me. You can flick through, you get all the dust out in the shop around anything that sits in there, if there is some dust. And because you can flick and go, it is so gentle, guys, I guarantee, look, I guarantee you, this does not mark anything in any way. So if I was to show you this one again, it's such a smooth, it's so smooth and nice. It's brilliant, look. You can flick through, just gently, no pressure, flick through, but you can then get in there, look. And you can tuck it in there, tuck it in there, all down inside here, and you can flick through. Because a lot of the time, when you buy a kit, the first pile of dirt that's going on is just dust. And what happens is it gathers and gathers, gets a little damp when you're using it in the car, and so on. So if you do this on a regular basis, I tell you now, it works a treat. It just takes dirt off. And of course then, if you've got ingrained dirt, you need to take the kit apart and really polish it up. But if you bring it up to that, to maintain it, these things are fantastic. Because as I said, look, it gets in every nook and cranny possible. And it's great. Now you might think that I'm mad, but when you have a shop and you have a lot of expensive drum kits in there, you want to make sure that every day, we were going to flick around and fill up a little, 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 and you can go quite quick like that. It really does get in there. Okay, guys? So take care. There's a tip of the day that you don't see very often, isn't it? If you've got Vista Light or acrylic drums, these are exceptionally good then because they do not mark the acrylic at all. Ostrich feather dusters. How's that? Look like uh, a warrior now. Take care, guys. Over and out. Please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.